Hi, and welcome to Java Eclipse of how to create the kinetic energy calculator. So let me show you guys how this works. I can reset. Let's enter new value in there. Let's say we enter 10. The max is 10 and the speed is 5. We click on kinetic energy. That is what you get. 125 joules. We can exit. And we will now exit and go to the Java Eclipse development environment and put one of these together. So let's do that now, guys. Hi, and welcome to Java Eclipse tutorial of how to calculate the kinetic energy of a moving object. I'm going to start by clicking on File, New, New Project. There, and let's give that a name. We just call that kinetic energy. I'm going to copy that name and tend to use it again. So let's click on finish here. Move this up and that's it. You can click on next, but it's all going to be the same. So let's just click on finish. There we go. Now that's my kinetic energy. Now right click on that folder and let's go to new and let's select order right inside all the what we're looking for is the window builder this very one drop the window builder down and i'm going to select the swing builder inside the swing builder let's select j frame and click on next now let's give our project name i'm going to call that name kinetic energy and the package name is going to be known as kinetic energy as well and let's click on finish there and i will now go right inside the source code here that's the source code and here that's the design of the interface itself it's now coming up and there we go so the next thing i would recommend is right click on it and let's select set layer as absolute layer there we go now I'm going to define the size of this frame. Let's come into the code and show. Let me show you the size. That's the size of the frame is 400 plus. I'm going to make the width. Let's go for about 600 by 400. That will do. There we go. 600 by 400. Go back to the design. There. I think that's big enough. I will now go to the panel here and let's draw that somewhere here up there and let's try and click on that very panel and make sure it is absolutely there as well and here you see the border I'm going to click on the border of that very panel and come right down here drop that down select bevel and click on oh let's change the color lower okay that's fine all right then that's fine yeah lower and let's see yeah that's fine i'm going to copy this very one let's right click and just click on copy and paste that right here that's another one here okay i've copied and paste the panel there but what i'm going to do is let's increase the size of this frame i'm going to come in here and instead of 600 by 400 i'm going to make that about 800 by 500 that that should increase the size of the frame let's come in here and see there we go let's collapse this so that you guys can see the whole, the whole framework all right select it all and just drag it all the way right and come right down here move this a little bit down and i think that we do Okay, I'm going to change the background color of this very one. Let's come to background and let's look for cadet blue. Okay, let's come in here, name color and select there. That's this cadet blue. I'm going to click on that and just click on okay. There we go. I'm going to repeat the same thing for this. 
Let's repeat the same thing for that very one. But I'm going to copy this. Let's copy it first and select. Yeah, just cut. Let's cut that off and copy this. Hold on to the control and just paste it there anyway. Right, copy and paste. There we go. Bring it right down. Now let's let's copy this very one. Copy and paste that in here. Just to give it a bit of a flavor. And drag it right down. There we go. Now that's that's what I want. Okay, right in here underneath here I'm gonna add three buttons. Let's look for buttons. One button here. I will change the back color of that very button to cadet blue as well. There. And the font. I'm going to change the font to something a little bit readable. Let's come right down here. Maybe make that about 30. There we go. Right. I will copy that across. You guys might not be able to see the see the back color yet, but you will see it as soon as I run it. So, but first thing first, let's change the text content of it to kinetic energy in there. Right. There we go. Now I'm going to copy that very button and paste it right in here. Paste. And we'll paste another one. Right there. There. Okay. Just do something and let's enhance this so that we can get enough room for it. And we have to do that for this as well. All right. If I run the program now, this before I run it, let me just enter details in here. So this is going to be clear or reset in there. Change the text to reset, and this is going to be changed to exit. Come on. There we go. And let's change the text contents. It's reset, there is exit, and let's see this one. Let's reset. This should be kinetic energy. No, let's change this one. Okay, kinetic. There we go. That's fine. Okay, let's add three labels here. One here. And let's change the test content of that to about 20, maybe 28 bold. Right. And we also need, we're going to also need a text frame. Grab that and just drag that here. So text frame there. We, we need three of those text frame anyway. Okay, up here let's add the following text in there. Let's come in here and look for the text area there. I'm just gonna enter mass in kilograms. So you enter the mass in kilograms. The mass there. And the next one, so let's just copy these two anyway. Copy, Control C, and Control V. It's going to be one here, another one underneath. Control V here as well. All right, this is going to be speed in meters. Meters. Try that again. It's 
so that is going to be speed in meters per second and finally that's this one will be the that would be joules of energy joules is the measurement there joules of energy let's see that again okay and I'll name this one let's give that a name we'll just call that TXC joules TXC joules and this will be TXT speed TXT kilograms there we go there that's it already now okay these three let's align the text let's select it all. I'm going to come to align horizontal let's get it centered there we go now I'm going to go up here I need a title there I will copy this copy and paste it right up here all right and the title for that will be let's change that to how to all right that's fine now let's write some code but before then I'm gonna run this program save and run okay so I'm going to come in here double click on exit so right in here where I have my button called exit I'm gonna press enter and now first of all create an object that I will call frame new J frame and this J frame is called this frame is called let's give it an alias of exit there press enter I will now use an if statement but I have an error here let's take care of that click and let's install we don't have to install that but first in first place let's just finish that that's if j option plane dot I say show show confirm download yeah and in there I'm gonna enter as follows let's just say frame comma I'm gonna enter confirm if you want to exit that is my very first argument the second one is just going to be the name of my project which is called kinetic energy and here I'm just going to press enter so let's enter a comma there okay here I will then enter a coily braces and then I will set to for system dot exit there so that should exit the system okay to take care of this error let's go right up there and just create a call that j frame frame that is it taken care of okay the error should be gone now i think it's gone it's not there anymore right that's fine so let's go back in here and take care of the reset double click on the reset okay right in here i'm going to enter txt i think it's called kilograms set text that to be no there and repeat the same thing for the others there we go so those are my lines of code for reset and here lines of code for exit okay that's fine now let's come back here. let's come out of it and here double click on the kinetic energy itself the button and let's enter some lines of code to carry out the calculation okay right in here what we do is we get the formula for kinetic energy which is going to be 0 0.5 multiplied by meters multiply by v square so let's first of all say double create a variable there called the data type will be double 
So M for the mass, V for the velocity, and Ke for the kinetic energy there. So I'm now going to say M equals, let's say double, double dot, let's say pass, pass double, and what we are passing in there is going to be J, no, it's going to be TXT, TXT kilogram. dot get text there that's the very first one the second one is going to be v equals double let's just copy all of this and paste that in there copy paste and change the other one to speed change that to speed there that is it done. So we now come here and say K equals 0 0.5, which is the formula for kinetic energy multiplied by M multiplied by V multiplied by V because that is V squared there. And that's all there is to it. So all we then need to do is to create a string where we will enter our energy. So equals I'm going to say string dot format and open up let's enter speech there just enter percent dot zero f close that so that will not give me any that's one place okay okay -E. so let me come out of here and just say plus plus put that in joules so that's the unit of measurement and that's a new column we now need to it should be uppercase we now need to enter energy store energy inside my txt joules i call that dot set text and the text we're setting is energy there we go and that's all there is to it right that is it done so i'm now going to save and let's run it click on run there we go enter maybe 10 there and enter five here let's say five click on energy there we go oh we need a bit of space in here reset exit works no nope. exit yes exit works so let's come in here enter a bit of space now run it again save first i'm gonna enter 20 here this time around and here will be 10. there let's check out the kinetic energy there and just before i leave i'm going to use this opportunity to say thank you to my channel members thanks for all your support I honestly do appreciate that and for those of you out there who are now members I encourage you to join and become a channel member as well there are a lot of benefits if you're a channel member thanks for watching and bye for now